the word of the Lord came to Jesus from heaven. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. What did he go do? To have a feast? No. He went 40 days and 40 nights. Why should I fast and pray after God has spoken? Because what God says does not come to pass. It is what I say under his anointing that comes to pass. God said to Elijah, rain is coming. What did he tell Ahab, the man of carnality, the man of the flesh? You can go eat, go have a feast. What did the Bible say Elijah did? He went up Mount Carmel. The Bible says he cast himself before the Lord. My goodness. Nobody ever receives a divine visitation without a practice of prayer. And not just prayer, with fasting. No, not just prayer. You have come to that point in your life where if I don't have this, I don't want anything else. You have come to that point. He said, when you are tired, you will break off his burden from your shoulders. Why is the burden there? You are not tired. You are not tired. Go and ask Hannah. She was not tired. She was not tired. She didn't like what she was going through, but she was not tired. When she became tired, she prayed in a way the priest said, you are mad, you are drunk. Do you, you know, I see people, I'm like this stuff, you are not tired. You're not ready. You are not ready. You are not ready. No, you remove the wig. Do you get what I'm saying here? You are not ready. You remove the wig, you remove the shoes. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? Listen, I have found that God is interested in the attitude in prayer. He is. He is. I just want to bless you, Lord. Wow. When he was going to, this Jesus you are loving. When he was going to go to the cross, the Bible says he prayed, prayed. The sweat was burst out with crying and tears. I, I'm imagining this Jesus looking at you. He says, this is what I died for. Is this how I pray to die for you? Ask him, Flamingo. Uh, mm. This is just so powerful. Oh, wow. I love you, Jesus. No, no, no. You, you lock the door. Do you understand what I'm talking about here? No. When you really want something, when there's something you're looking for, when there's something you want to get, you are tired of this level. Ah. You hold the mic, you are singing. It's the same cry they were crying two years ago. They are still crying. Same cry. Your tongues is the same thing. Kumbi, kumbi, kumbi. No. You see, you pray so much. It's like a journey in the spirit. You know you get to different bus stops. In the rare aya. Hey. Is somebody hungry for something? Is somebody hungry for something? Is prayer is the voice of hunger. It is not the voice of need. I need you to understand what I just said. Prayer is not the voice of need. Complain and murmuring is the voice of need. The voice of hunger is prayer. The voice of hunger is prayer. I want you to ask yourself, how much do I really want this thing? How much? How much? I would lay hands upon them. One will say they got healed. Two will say they got healed. I got tired. Do you understand what I'm saying here? I got tired. When would the blind eyes open? When would the deaf ears open? I got tired. That word is not God. We enter by prayer. Do you understand what I'm saying here? We enter by prayer. Every man has the ability to write his ticket with God. The Bible says Cornelius' prayers had risen before God. God said, listen, let's set aside everything we are doing. We have to answer Cornelius. Brothers and sisters, you know the beautiful thing about a divine visitation? Many a times we think it's about us. 
But through Cornelius, we are saved now. Through Cornelius, there's Petra now. Through Cornelius, there are ministries all over the earth. What if Cornelius did not pray? What if he did not fast? What if he did not give? Are you hearing what I'm saying here? Could it mean generations are waiting for your prayer? Could it mean generations are waiting for your fasting? Could it mean? Could it mean? Say this destiny becomes. Come on, shout it. Destiny becomes. What if that day Cornelius said, I don't think all these prayers is working. Maybe I shouldn't just pray and fast today. What if he missed that Kairos? What if he missed that Kairos? Pray in the Holy Ghost wherever you are. And I need you to pray violently in the spirit wherever you are.